A historic day for Afghanistan and its new president, Ashraf Ghani, as his troops take complete charge of the country's security. <laughs> Afghan forces will no longer be able to call on international troops for support as they take on the Taliban and other militant groups. <laughs> president Ghani told his soldiers he was proud of them and confident in their abilities. From today onwards, the relevant institutions of Afghanistan will take the major decisions regarding the use of force, and our aim is to have the legitimate ownership of force all over the country. But just hours before, a tragedy, as a wedding party was hit by a rocket in the southern Helmand province. An investigation has been ordered after reports that it may have been fired by Afghan soldiers who were in the middle of a fierce battle with Taliban militants. The victims, mostly women and children, were rushed to a hospital in the capital, Lashkargah. Until now, NATO had faced the brunt of public anger over civilian casualties caused during combat operations. Now it's the turn of the Afghan government. If this kind of incident happened to President Ashraf Ghani's family and the chief executive Abdullah's family, then they would understand our pain. The people who are gathered here are asking the government, why should we be suffering? And why is the government not feeling our pain? This latest attack took place in a district that had been handed over to the Afghan forces by NATO in the middle of last year. The Taliban is active in a number of other provinces and recently carried out a number of attacks right here in the capital all of which underscores the immense challenges that lie ahead of the Afghan security forces in 2015. Sanjay Majumdar, BBC News, Kabul.